To begin our Qigong movement in meditation practice, bring your feet to a hip-width standing position. Feet should be parallel with toes pointed straight forward. Slightly bend the knees and place the top of your fingers together facing the sky. Remember to breathe in and out through the nose in fully realized breaths. Try to utilize the entire lung capacity with each inhale and exhale. Now, close your eyes briefly, stop your mind, smile inwardly, and surrender all your thoughts to the stillness inherent within. Take a breath, listen deeply, connect even deeper. Now allow your awareness to expand gracefully outwardly from this place as a radiant light beaconing from the very core of your being. Good. Gently open your eyes. Let's begin our movement by breathing in and connecting your breath with the raising of your hands upward. Keep the top of your fingers touching on the inhale. As your hands come over your head, allow your index finger and thumb to meet, making a triangle figure. Your lungs should be completely expanded and filled to capacity at this moment. Separate the triangle, exhale, and begin to harmonize your gentle exhale with the slow lowering of your hands. As you lower the palms, face them outward and to the side. Moving upward again, but this time imagine that you are freeing yourself from all that does not serve your highest good. And on the exhale, Allow that negativity to be pushed away, never more to return. Repeat one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale as you raise your hands. Timing and synchronizing the breath with the lifting of the hands is very important. As your hands lift over your head, slowly angle the hands so the palms are facing downward. Begin your exhale as your hands lower. Next repetition, lift the hands, but now visualize you're lifting something that is heavy. Don't let it fall. Keep the palms as parallel to the sky as possible. As you come over your head, turn the palms downward and let the palms now feel as if you're pushing something downward into the earth. Last time, lifting the hands, but this time visualize you are gathering energy, lifting it up. As you come up over your head, turn the palms and push the energy downward. Good, slow and stop your hands at the hips and turn your palms inward. Let your fingertips extend to the floor and feel the energy flow through the arms and into the hands. Close your eyes again, detach your thoughts, let them go. Think only of your breath as you inhale and exhale. See your radiant light glowing from the energy downpour and how your complete body is expanded and uplifted. Gently open your eyes and bring your feet together. Open your palms and place the tip of your ring finger naturally onto your palm. This area of your palm is a major point where internal healing energy naturally flows. We are now going to send energy into the lower back by bringing the palms backward and placing them on the lower portion of the back. Make sure your fingertips are facing inward and angled towards your tailbone. Relax the shoulders and slightly bend the knees. We are sending vital energy into the energy centers of the lower back. Focus on this flow of healing energy. Now simply begin to circle your navel area counterclockwise. Restrict the head movement and let the circling movement come from the center of the body only. This center is located below the navel and directly inward. The movement is small. Here we are developing a moving intelligence of the center of the body that includes this central core. The central core is called the Dantian in the Chinese tradition. It is a metaphysical area where we cultivate the energy, or qi. We gather it, assimilate it, and cultivate it for healing circulation throughout our bodies. 
Once you feel you have this movement down, you can close your eyes and make this a very meditative experience. It's learning this ability to focus inward that is key to fully embracing your Tai Chi experience. Counterclockwise movement naturally has an energetic of opening up, cleansing, and purifying. Let your mind focus on these qualities as you circle. Stop. Open your eyes. Now simply reverse the direction. Turn the central core clockwise in the same manner as before, just in the other direction. Again, once you have become comfortable with this clockwise movement, I invite you to close your eyes and make this another meditative experience. Clockwise movement reflects assimilation, gathering in, and rooting down. This time, let your mind attune to these qualities as you circle clockwise. Gathering in, rooting down, feel the earth, slow down, stop, open your eyes, good, move your feet outward until you reach a hip width posture with the feet, feet should be parallel with the toes pointed straight forward, relax the shoulders and slightly bend the knees, allow your palms to move into position facing the hips. Watch my hands as I gently place my palms on another powerful energy point, just halfway up the outside of the glutes. This point governs the energy flow into the lower region of the body. Begin to circle your navel area counterclockwise, restricting the head movement and letting the circling movement come from the center of the body once again. Since the feet are hip width, the movement is now larger and rounder. Again, we are developing a bigger moving intelligence of the central core, the Dantian. You can close your eyes while still circling, making this a very meditative experience. Remember, counterclockwise movement naturally has an energetic quality of opening up, purifying, and cleansing. This movement also gently opens up the hip joints. By moving in this way, the hip joints become more supple and free. The hip's range of motion expands and all the joints begin to move in perfect harmony with each other. Slow down. Stop. Great. Now reverse and begin to circle your central core area clockwise. Restricting the head movement and letting the circling movement come from the Dantian, allowing the larger moving intelligence of the Dantian to expand naturally. I invite you to close your eyes once more and make this an assimilating, gathering in, rooting down, meditative experience. A very famous Tai Chi master said, these simple circles powerfully develop the woman power and the man power. Slow down, gently stop. Wonderful, open your eyes and bring your feet together. Let your right hand grab your left wrist behind your back. This will support your lower back as we move into the next posture. Keep your head up and look up as you begin to bend straight forward with the whole upper body at the crease. Keep your knees locked, back flat and straight, and gently lean forward until you are just hanging the upper body naturally downward. When you reach the full extent of your natural range, relax the back of the neck and let the head drop. Let it go and relax into this posture. Relax the mind and let the body follow. Deepen your relaxation with every breath. Soften your breath and let your mind release. Now let your palms gently release down in front of your feet. Good. Now stay in this posture as you bend your knees. Let your glutes sink back into the sitting position. Then push off your heels and begin to carefully roll upward into vertical alignment, one vertebrae at a time. Slowly and consciously uncoil the lower vertebrae first. Middle vertebrae. Upper vertebrae. And finally, the neck. Intertwine the fingers. Gently flex the wrist and fingers outward and allow the hands to circle upward in front of the body with the palms facing outward. Try to make sure the fingers are equally flexed against each other from the thumbs to the pinkies. 
Let the palms face upward with the arms naturally rounded for maximum energy flow. The shoulders should be completely relaxed. Now turn the palms towards the body at the crown point of the head, known as the crown chakra. Let the palms face this point, brush downward, stroking just slightly away from the body, sending energy to all the major energy centers in the center of the body from the crown chakra to the root chakra, just below the pelvis. At this lowest curve of the hands, then naturally round the brushing action outward and away from the body, palms facing outward. Keep everything relaxed, circling until you are in the position you started with, palms facing straight up. Brush forward, but this time continue backward into a gentle back bend posture. Relax here. Release. Forward brush again, repeating the back bend posture for a slightly fuller reach backward. Relax here. Return to the beginning posture and stop. Hold this posture. Now begin to bend the same posture directly to the right, then back to the left at the waist, then back and forth. This movement gently opens up the sides of the body. It allows for a deepening of the root connection between the feet and the earth. Stop. Center back into the overhead rounded arm position. Look upward between the flex fingers, release the fingers and reach for the sky. Breathe in a full breath as you reach, allowing all the heaven energy above to downpour and engulf your entire body, mind and spirit. A little further, and slowly begin to exhale and release your shoulders, arms, hands and gently circle downward to the side of your body, timing the exhale with the lowering of the hands to your side. Now let's release tension and energize your shoulders. Roll forward, up, back, and down. Again, forward, up, back, and down. Now reverse shoulders back, up, forward, and down. Again, back, up, forward, and down. Stop. Now let's practice focusing on the mind-body connection vital to your Tai Chi experience. Circle your hands outward and bring the energy you've been cultivating into the Dan Tien. Then circle behind you, around, and then back into the front of your Dan Tien with your left hand and right palms facing upward. Right hand on top of left. Your left arm is slightly rounded and your left upward palm is positioned just under the Dantian area holding up the energy or chi you've been cultivating so far in the Dantian. Don't let it fall by dropping the palm. Now imagine a small Chinese teacup balanced on your right hand. It is full of hot tea. Try not to spill it. We will now silk reel, a Tai Chi term for flowing the chi harmoniously through the joints, your wrists, elbow, and shoulder joints while balancing the teacup on your palm. Follow my right hand keeping the teacup stable and flat as you circle the teacup around. Up over your head. Maneuver and open the joints in the shoulder, elbow, wrists, and hand to maintain a level to keep the tea from spilling. Continue to circle your hand in front of your body and then around the side of your body, under your elbow, and back into the starting position. Begin again. Don't spill the tea. Focus completely on each subtle movement. Clear in your mind of all extraneous thoughts. Stop here in front of the Dantian. Now let's reverse direction and move the teacup hand backwards under the elbow and behind the body. Circle to the side around in front of you, then over your head and back into the starting position. One more time, back behind the body, around and over the head, in front of the body, and then back to starting position. The energy flow follows the hand movements, massaging the joints to help them stay healthy and supple. Great. Let's switch sides now and imagine the left hand holding the teacup on it and the right palm holding up the chi. 
As you circle, keep the teacup level. Don't spill it. Bring it around, back under the elbow. Let's do that one more time. Around in front of the body. Over the head. Around. Under the elbow. Slow down. Stop. Reverse direction and move backwards as you did on the right side, behind the body, around in front of the body, over the head, around in front of the body, and then again back under the elbow, around in front of the body, and over the head, and around. Again, to the front, slow down. Don't stop the hands, but continuously bring the hands forward in front of your body and bring back a big scoop of this energy you have been cultivating in the front of your field into your Dantian, allowing it to expand. Feel the radiance and fullness within as you cultivate the Chi. Great work. Let's step out hip width with your feet. Sink down into your knees slightly. Disconnect your shoulders, arms, and hands from your mind. If the shoulders, arms, and hands are truly disconnected from the mind, they will be limp and hang from the body loosely. Shift your weight over into the left leg. Turn your waist to the left. Allow the disconnected hands to flow towards the left leg with the leftward turning of the waist. We are going to shift our weight back and forth, letting our hands and arms swing loosely, slapping the body as we move. Because the mind has disconnected the arms from the body, they should naturally slap the body as you swing back and forth. If they are not slapping the body, then some part of the mind is still connected to these limbs. Let it go. As you move, let go and slap. The more you let go, the slapping action naturally slaps pressure points on the body, promoting increased energy flow and a more expansive experience. Slow down. Stop. Good. Smoothly shift all your weight into the center. Feet hip width while bringing your hands around up and over your head slowly. Lift up all the energy you've been cultivating and bring it down through the body. Energy follows the hands flowing through your central core, gathering in the Dantian and expanding your sense of well-being. Beautiful job. Congratulations. You've just opened up the body, enhanced your natural energy flow, and allowed for your body, mind, and spirit to come into a more natural alignment. With daily practice of just this section of the program, you will find an incredible expansion of your well-being, enhanced health, and a body-mind-spirit connection that will soothe and enrich. When you see images of people doing Tai Chi, you are watching the gracefully linking together of different classic postures. In this section, we will learn Tai Chi form so later you can enjoy the full Tai Chi experience. Make sure your feet are hip width, parallel, with the toes pointed straight forward. Imagine a string coming from the top of your head, pulling your spine upright. Gently roll your pelvis under. First posture we will learn is called lifting hands. We will do it twice together. One, full exhale and go to sleep with your energy. Two, lift the hands at the wrists, fingers down, elbows in to the chest level. Three, raise just your fingers until your palms are parallel to the floor. Four, let your palms slide towards your body a couple of inches. Five, just the fingers come up until the palms are facing forward. Six, let the hands, arms, and fingers lower to the place you started. Lifting hands. Let's do that one more time. One, exhale quiet and clear your mind. Two, inhale, lift the hands at the wrists, fingers down, elbows in to the chest level. Three, raise just your fingers until your palms are parallel to the floor. Four, let your palms slide towards your body, every movement with focused intention. 
Five, just the fingers come up until the palms are facing forward. Six, let the hands, arms, and fingers lower to the place you started. Surrender and relax into your root. Our next Tai Chi posture is called Ward Off Left. One, turning to the right, shift your weight over your left leg, releasing your right foot. Hold a beach ball of energy between the palms with the right hand on top. Really feel that ball of vital energy. Two, shift your weight into the right leg, releasing the left heel. Three, sink down into the right leg. Turn slightly to the left. Four, replace the left toe with the left heel. Five, shift your weight forward, slightly leaning with the left shoulder until 80% of the weight is on the forward leg. Six, turn your waist to the left. Lift the left hand, right hand down. Last minute, right toe comes forward, weight in the center. Now, let's bring the energy back in and down to the body. Good. Let's do ward off left one more time. As you become familiar with these postures, they will become more and more natural. One, shift your weight over to your left leg, releasing your right foot. Visualize that beach ball of energy between your palms. Two, shift your weight into the right leg, release the left heel. Three, sink down into the right leg, turn slightly to the left. Four, replace the left toe with the left heel. Five, shift your weight forward, slightly leaning with the left shoulder until most of the weight is in the forward leg. Relax, exhale. Six, energize with an inhale and wake up your energy as you turn your waist to the left. Lift the left hand, right hand down, last minute, Right toe comes forward, weight in the center. Next posture to learn, ward off right. Eventually all the postures will flow, but we need to master them first. One, turn to the left at the waist, holding that beach ball of energy with your left hand on top. Two, shift all your weight into the left leg, lifting the right heel. Three, sink down into the left leg and slightly turn to the right. Four, replace the right toe with the right heel. Five. Shift the weight forward into the right leg, leaning slightly with the right shoulder. Six, turn your waist to the right. Lift the right hand and let the left hand and right toe follow, and now hold a grapefruit-sized ball of energy between the palms. The right finger should be mostly vertical, and the left finger should be horizontal. Let's shift back to ward off left posture, and try ward off right one more time. When we feel the flow through the postures, these will come one after another. One, turn to the left at the waist, holding that beach ball of energy with the left hand on top. Two, shift all your weight into the left leg, lift the right heel. Three, sink down into the left leg and slightly turn to the right. Four, replace the right toe with the right heel. Five, shift the weight forward into the right leg, leaning slightly with the right shoulder. Exhale and feel the earth. Six, a big inhale as you wake up with your energy and turn the waist to the right. Lift the right hand. Let the left hand and right toe follow and hold a grapefruit-sized ball of energy between the palms. Next posture is roll away. One, turn your waist to the right and let the left palm face the right elbow. Right palm should be facing the face. Two, simply shift the weight back into the left leg until 90% of the weight is on the left foot. Three, turn the waist to the left and let the hands roll to the left. Good. Let's return to ward off right posture and try roll away one more time. One, turn your waist to the right and let the left palm face the right elbow, almost as though you are looking into the right palm like a hand mirror. Two, simply shift the weight back into the left leg until 90% of the weight is on the left foot. Feel the left leg engaged and working. Three, turn the waist to the left, shift the weight into the left leg and let the hands roll into the left. 90% of the weight should be in the left leg. Exhale. Roll away. Flows into a posture called press. Let's learn it. One, continue to turn left with the waist. Lift your hands and hold a ball of energy. Shoulder width, chest height. Two, shift your weight into the right leg, leading slightly with the shoulder until 90% of the weight is in the right leg. Exhale, relax. Three, Turn your waist to the right and let your left palm press into the right forearm. Let's return back to roll away posture and do press again. One, continue to turn left with the waist. Lift your hands and hold a ball of energy, shoulder width, chest height. Relax the shoulders. Two, shift your weight into the right leg, leading slightly with your shoulder until most of your weight is in the right leg. 
Relax deeper as you sink your energy into the earth. Three, inhaling while you wake up with your energy and turn your waist to the right and let your left palm press into your right forearm. Great. Next posture in our Tai Chi sequence is guard the temples and push. One, let your left hand roll over your right wrist as you shift your weight back into the left leg and allow your hands to separate with the palms facing forward. 90% of the weight is in the left leg. Guard the temples refers to the protecting of the sides of your head. Two, shift your weight back into the right leg with 60% of your weight into the right leg. Go to sleep with your energy and exhale. Three, wake up with your energy, inhale, and push forward. Let's return to press. Guard the temples and push one more time. One, let the left hand gracefully roll over your right wrist as you shift your weight back into the left leg and allow the hands to separate with the palms facing forward. The weight is in the left leg. Guard the temples. Two, shift your weight back into the right leg with 60% of your weight in the right leg. Go to sleep with your energy while exhaling. Three, inhale. Wake up with your energy while pushing forward. Good. Next posture is called single whip. One, shift your weight lightly back into the left foot and turn your waist slightly to the right. Two, turn your waist to the left, shift your weight into the left leg, turn your right toe to the left until most of your weight is in the left leg and your right toe is cocked as if you are pigeon toe. Three, turn your waist to the right, shift all your weight into the right leg. Your right hand makes a duck's beak hand position, fingers pointing down. Allow the duck's beak to glide by the solar plexus, the middle of your chest, and stop above the left hand, palm facing upward. Four, push up off the right leg. Turn your waist to the left. Let your duck's beak slowly rise up and out from the body as your left heel lifts and your whole body turns. Five, let the left leg adjust left to move to the opposite direction, heel touching. Six, shift your weight into the left leg, leading with the left shoulder until 90% of the weight is in the left leg. Seven, left forearm will pivot at the elbow as you turn your waist to the left, sweeping forward with the left forearm until you cannot easily turn anymore. Eight, left palm and right toe turn forward together. Good, I know that seems complex, so let's try it again. Return to push posture. Single whip. One, exhale while shifting your weight lightly back into the left foot and slightly turn your waist to the right. Relax. Two, inhaling as you turn your waist to the left, imagining you are throwing something away. Shift your weight into the left leg, turning your right toe until most of your weight is in the left leg and your right toe is in a pigeon-toed position. Feel the release. Three, as you exhale, turn your waist to the right, shift all your weight into the right leg, make a duck's beak hand position with your right hand as it glides by the solar plexus to stop above your left hand with the palm facing upward. Relax and root into that right leg. Four, inhale as you push up off your right leg. Turn your waist to the left. Let your duck's beak slowly rise up and out away as your left heel lifts and your whole body turns. Five, let the left leg adjust left to move in the opposite direction, heel touching. Six, exhale as you shift your weight into the left leg, leading with your left shoulder until most of the weight is in the left leg. Relax down into the earth. Seven, a solid inhale as your left forearm pivots at the elbow, turn your waist to the left, sweeping forward with the left forearm until you cannot turn anymore. Eight, simultaneously turn your left palm and right toe forward together. Moving on, you're doing great. Next posture is snake creeps down. One, shift 60% of your weight into the left leg and slightly turn out your right toe. Two, shift 80% of your weight back into your right leg. Turn your waist to the left and let your left fingers gracefully drop downward. Three, turn your waist to the right. Left hand comes in towards your chest. Left toe releases inward. 80% of the weight remains in the right leg. Four, let the left hand creep down over the left knee as you sink downward and slightly turn to the left and slightly move forward into the left leg, weight in the center. Good. Let's slowly return to single whip posture. Snake creeps down one more time. One, gently inhale as you shift your weight into the left leg and slightly turn out your right toe. 
two, shift back into your right leg, turn your waist to the left and let your left fingers drop downward. Three, turn your waist to the right, left hand comes in towards your chest, left toe releases inward, weight still in the right leg. Four, let the left hand creep down like a snake over the left knee as you sink downward and slightly turn to the left, moving forward into the left leg. Stay relaxed and loose. Next posture, step up, form seven stars. One, shift your weight into the center, releasing the right toe forward and letting the left hand continue to rise in front of you and the right hand drops to your right. Two, shift 90% of your weight into the left leg. Three, release your right foot forward as you bring your hands up to make fists, right fists under left fists in an X block posture. 100% of the weight is on the left leg. Nice. Let's slowly return to snake creeps down and try to step up, form seven stars, one more time. One, shift your weight into the center, releasing the right toe forward and letting the left hand continue to rise in front and the right hand to drop down to your right. Two, exhale as you shift almost all your weight into your left leg. Relax. Three, a solid inhale as you wake up with your energy and release your right foot forward as you bring your hands up to make fists right fist under left fist in an X block posture. All of the weight on the left leg forming seven stars. Next posture is step back to ride the tiger. One, step back with your right foot and touch your right toe behind you as you begin to lower your fists down. Two, shift all your weight into your right leg as your hands open up and make a downward X block in front of your body. Three, sink slightly lower into your right leg. Four, push off your right leg and let the hands go the opposite direction in front and back. Five, sink lower into the right leg. Six, push off the right leg, turn your waist to the left, let your hands follow your right hand chopping in front of you and the left palm grazing over your left leg. 100% of the weight on the right leg. Good. Let's return to step up form seven stars posture again. Step back to ride the tiger. One, step back with your right foot and touch your right toe behind you and begin to lower your fist down. Two, shift all your weight back to the right leg as your hands open up and make a downward X block in front of your body. Relax. Three, exhale as you sink slightly lower into your right leg. Relax, feel grounded. Four, gentle inhale as you wake up with your energy and push off your right leg and let the hands go opposite direction. Each movement executed with intention and clarity. Five, clear your mind and sink lower into your right leg again. Six, powerful inhale as you push off your right leg, wake up with your energy and turn your waist to the left, letting your hands follow with your right hand chopping in front of you and the left palm grazing over your left leg, all the weight in the right leg, riding the tiger. Next posture is a 360 degree turn. We are doing a complete 360 degree turn with the body. Watch me do it once before you try it. You can do it, follow me. One, sink slightly downward into the right leg. Two, push off the right leg, turning right and step with the left leg behind you, allowing your body to turn 360 degrees, resting with the right foot forward and 100% of the weight on your left leg. Both palms are resting in front of you, facing downward. Nice. Let's return to ride the tiger posture. 360 degree turn one more time. One, sink slightly downward into the right leg, relax and wind up. Two, inhale and push off the right leg, waking up with your energy, turning right and stepping with the left leg behind you, allowing your body to turn 360 degrees, resting with the right foot forward and all the weight in the left leg. Both palms are resting in front of you, facing downward. Next posture is cross wave like lily kick. One, right foot rises off the ground, slanting slightly over the left side of the body. Two, the foot crosses in front of the body as high as you can easily lift. Try touching your toes, even if you lower your hands to do that, it's okay. Let's return to the end of 360 degree posture. Cross wave like lily kick one more time. One, right foot rises off the ground, slanting slightly over the left side of the body. Two, the foot crosses in front of the body in a gentle sweeping kick. Next posture, 
bend the bow, and shoot the arrow. One, let your right heel touch the ground as you begin to lower your hands. Two, shift your weight into the right leg as your hands circle over your right waist and become powerful fists. Three, continue to circle your fists as you shift your weight more into your right leg, bending the invisible bow. Four, shoot the arrow by allowing the fists to move forward with the right fist high and the left fist low as the weight is moved into the center. Good. Let's return to cross wave like lily kick. Bend the bow and shoot the arrow one more time. One, let your right heel touch the ground as you begin to lower your hands. Exhale. Two, exhaling as you shift your weight into the right leg and your hands circle over your right waist becoming fists. Three, continue to circle your fists as you shift your weight more into the right leg, bending the bow, exhaling deeper into your root. Four, inhale, wake up with your expanded energy, shoot the arrow by allowing both fists to move forward with the right fist high and the left fist low as the weight is moved into the center. Next, release, retreat, parry, and punch. One, release the left foot. All the weight is in the right foot. Two, shift your weight into the left foot as your fists lower to the pelvis. Three, the left opens as the right foot retreats towards the left. 100% of the weight is in the left foot. Four, weight shifts back into the right foot as the right fist and left open hands circle over the left hip. Five, waist turns to the right. Fist moves forward, open hand follows and the left foot releases into the forward parry position. Six, Sink and shift your weight into the left leg, leading with the left shoulder until 60% of the weight is in the left leg. Seven, inhale and turn your waist to the left. Allow your right punch to come from underneath your left open hand. Nice. Let's return to shoot the arrow posture. Release, retreat, parry and punch one more time. One, release the left foot. All the weight is in the right foot. Two, shift your weight into the left foot as your fists lower to the pelvis. Three, the left opens as the right foot retreats towards the left. All the weight is in the left foot. Four, exhaling while weight shifts back into your right foot as right fist and left hand circles over left hip. Relax, exhale deeper. Five, a big inhale as your waist turns to the right. Fist moves forward, wake up with your energy, Open hand follows and left foot releases into the forward parry position. Six, large exhale as you shift your weight into the left leg, leading with the left shoulder until 60% of the weight is in the left leg. Exhale, relax deeper with your energy. Seven, powerfully inhale as you wake up with your energy, turn your waist to the left and allow your right punch to come underneath your left open hand. Next posture, uncrossing the hands and push. One, shift your weight slightly forward and let your right elbow circle over your left fingertips. Two, let your right elbow come over your left forearm as you shift your weight back into the other leg. Three, uncross your hands and let your palms face forward. Four, shift your weight forward 60% into your left leg. Five, push forward as your weight moves into the center. Let's return to the final position of release, retreat, parry and punch posture. Uncrossing of the hands and push one more time. One, shift your weight slightly forward and let your right elbow circle over your left fingertips. Two, let your right elbow come over your left forearm as you shift your weight back to the other leg. Three, uncross your hands and let your palms face forward. Relax. Four, exhaling as you shift your weight forward, 60% of your weight in the left leg, relax deeper into the earth. Five, a solid inhale as you wake up with your energy, push forward as your weight moves into the center. Last posture that makes up our flowing sequence, turn forward to close. One, turn your waist to the right as your left foot turns right, all your weight shifts into your right leg, left toe turns forward. Two, shift your weight back into the left foot as your right foot adjusts, your hands lower to your waist. Three, your feet adjust to parallel and your hands are at your side. Four, feet are parallel, weight in the center, hands crossing at the pelvis. Five, crossing hands rise, 
to the neck level. Six, hands lower to close, and you're complete. Wonderful, let's return to push posture and do turn to close one more time. One, turn your waist to the right as you turn right. All your weight shifts into the right leg, left toe turns forward. Two, shift your weight back into the left leg as your right foot adjusts, your hands lower to your waist. Three, feet adjust to parallel as your hands are at your side. Four, feet are parallel now, weight in the center, hands crossing at the pelvis, exhale, go to sleep with your energy. Five, inhaling as crossing hands rise to the neck level, pulling up the energy through the body. Six, hands lower to close as you let the energy flow down to the earth again. You're done. Great work. We have just experienced classic Tai Chi postures. Every time you practice, they will become easier and more familiar. Let's begin to flow through the Tai Chi postures you've learned. As you smile within, think of a word that describes an intention that you have for yourself, an intention that you desire to manifest as your life experience, like peace, abundance, healing, tranquility. Look deep within. Allow the word to come from a meaningful, joyful place. Next, we will release this word into the non-conscious mind let it grow roots there as we do the Tai Chi form and blossom back into the conscious mind. Think of your word. One, two, three. Release it and follow me. Lifting hands. Relax, exhale, let your energy sink to the bottoms of your feet. Inhale, filling up with energy throughout your body, heart center, mind. Now exhale slightly again. Then inhale slightly, lift the fingers. Now exhale and let the energy sink down again, releasing the mind, surrendering your heart center into the earth. Ward off left. Use this energy to open up to the right, holding the beach ball of energy. Shift your weight to the right foot. Sink and turn and step with your left foot. Shift your weight into the left leg. Exhale and inhale as you turn forward to ward off with the left hand while the right toe follows. Ward off right. Turn to the left. Holding the beach ball of energy with your left hand on top, shift all your weight into the left leg, lifting the right heel. Sink down to the right leg and slightly turn to the right. Replace the right toe with the right heel. And now hold a grapefruit-sized ball of energy between the palms. Roll away and press. Turn to the right and look at your right hand. Exhale and shift your weight back. Now turn your waist left. Hands come down and surrender your energy into the earth once more. Inhale, raise your hands, lift and hold a horizontal ball of energy. Exhale, shift your weight forward, leading with your right shoulder, sink your energy down, relax. Then inhale, turn and press. Guard the temples and push. Let the left hand roll over the right wrist as you shift your weight back into the left leg and allow your hands to separate. Palms forward. Shift your weight forward. Exhale, deep into the earth. Then inhale and push. Single whip. Exhale and shift your weight back and let the energy sink into the left foot. Inhale as you turn left, throwing outward and away. Exhale and relax the right hands as it moves into the duck's beak position on the right. Inhale and extend the duck's beak outward, pushing out off the right leg. Adjust the left foot. Exhale. Sink your energy into the earth as you shift, leading with your left shoulder. Then inhale, fill up with the energy and turn forward with the left hand to single whip. Snake creeps down. Inhale, shift your weight forward, turn out your right foot. Shift your weight back to the right foot and begin to exhale, sinking your energy down. Turn to your right, bringing the left hand into the body. Then bring your left hand down and creep along the inside of the left leg to snake creeps down. Step up, form seven stars. Exhaling, turn out your left foot. Shift your weight into the left and make sure your right foot follows. Shift forward into the left foot more. Step with the right foot and inhale as fists come up to cross with left arm on top to form seven stars. Step back to ride the tiger. Step back with the right foot, exhaling, allowing your energy to sink into the earth. Turn right with the left hand forward and the right hand behind. Exhale again and sink. 
Then inhale, push up, turning left, right hand high, left hand low to ride the tiger. 360 degree turn. Exhaling, sink your energy back down into your right leg. Then inhale and spin to the right, stepping with the left leg and doing a 360 degree turn, ending with the right foot forward. Cross wave like lily kick. Keeping your weight in that left leg, kick at the hands with your right foot with cross wave like lily kick. Bend the bow and shoot the arrow. Now gently let the right foot touch the ground. Drop your fist to the right side of the body as you exhale, bending the bow. Shift your weight forward, let your energy lift, shooting the arrow by bringing the fist up in front of you. Release, retreat, parry and punch. Release the left foot off the floor. Set it back down and retreat back to the right foot. Shift your weight back into the right foot and exhale, going to sleep with your energy. Then inhale, wake up and parry, stepping forward with the left foot. Shift your weight into the left foot and sink your energy down. Then inhale, expand your energy and punch. Uncross the hands and push. Turn and cross over, opening your punching hand. Shift back and uncross your hands. Then exhale, going to sleep with your energy as you shift forward. Then big inhale and push. Turn forward and close. Put your weight back into your right leg. Turn and adjust your feet forward and parallel. Move your weight into the center. Deep exhale, sink into the earth one more time with the hands crossed. Then inhale and lift up your energy and hands to the neck. Turn the hands downward, slowly exhaling to close. You are complete. Let's flow through these postures together one more time. Keeping your mind focused and clear, every move with intention. Lifting hands, relax, exhale. Let your energy sink to the bottoms of your feet, deep into the earth. Inhale, filling up your entire body with energy. Now exhale. Then inhale and lift your fingers. Now exhale and let the energy again sink down, releasing all the extraneous thoughts surrendering into the earth. Ward off left. Use this vital energy to open up right, holding the ball. Shift your weight into the right foot. Turn to step with the left. Shift your weight, exhaling, letting all your energy sink into the earth again. Now inhale as you turn forward to ward off as the right toe follows. Ward off right. Turn to the left, exhaling. Hold your ball of energy to the left. Turn to the right. Step with the right foot. Shift your weight. Let the energy sink down as you continue to exhale. Then wake up. Turn your left toe forward and ward off right. Roll away. Turn to the right. Exhaling while shifting your weight back. Now turn to the left. Hands come down and surrender your energy into the earth. Press. Inhale. Raise the hands. Lift and hold a horizontal bottle of energy. Exhaling, shift your weight forward, sink your energy down and relax. Then inhale, turn and press. Guard the temples and push. Inhaling, shift your weight back, separate the hands and guard the temples. Shift your weight forward, exhale deep into the earth. Then inhale and push. Single width. Exhaling while shifting your weight back and let the energy sink into the left foot. Inhale and turn to the left and throw away outward. Exhale and relax the right hand into the duck's beak position. Inhaling, extend the duck's beak outward, adjust the left foot. Exhaling, sink your energy into the earth as you shift forward. Then inhale, fill up with energy and turn forward to single whip. Snake creeps down. Inhale, shift your weight forward and turn out your right foot. Shift back to the right foot and begin to exhale. Turn to your right as you bring your left hand in. Then bring your left hand down, creep along the inside of the left leg to snake creeps down. Step up, form seven stars. Exhaling, turn out the left foot. Shift your weight into the left and make sure your right foot follows. Shift forward into the left foot. Step with the right. Inhale as fists come up to cross. Left arm on top to form seven stars. Step back to ride the tiger. Step back with the right foot and exhale, allowing your energy to sink into the earth. Inhale, turning right with the left hand forward and the right hand behind. Exhale again, then inhale and push up, turning left to ride the tiger. 360 degree turn. Exhaling, sink your energy back down into your right leg. Turn to the left and wind up. Then inhale and spin to your right. Stepping with the left leg and doing a 360 turn, ending with the right leg in front. Cross wave like lily kick. Keep your weight on your left leg. Kick at the hands with your right foot with cross wave like lily kick. Bend the bow and shoot the arrow. Now gently let the right foot touch the ground. Drop your fist to the right side of the body as you exhale, bending the bow. Shift your weight forward, inhaling, and let your energy lift. 
Then shoot the arrow by bringing the fist up in front of you. Release, retreat, parry and punch. Release the left foot off the floor, set it back down and retreat back with the right foot. Shift your weight back into the right leg and exhale and go to sleep with your energy. Then inhale, wake up, parry, stepping forward with the left foot. Shift your weight back into the left foot and sink your energy. Then inhale and punch. Uncross the hands and push. Turn and cross over, opening up your punching hand. Shift back and uncross the hands. Then exhale, shift forward deeply into the earth. Inhale and push. Turn forward and close. Shift your weight back into the right leg. Turn and adjust your feet forward and parallel. Move your weight into the center. Exhale with the hands crossed, sink deep into the earth one more time. Then inhale, lift up your energy and hands to the neck. Turn your hands downward, exhaling to close. You are complete as your hands come down to a stop in front of your pelvis. Close your eyes and think only of your breath, smiling a great inward smile of joy and completion. Now, let go of all other thoughts. Only think of your breath, peace, and wholeness. Good. Now simply think of something you are grateful for. Something, somebody, you are so very thankful for. Now let that feeling of gratitude expand into your entire field of awareness. Open your eyes and follow my hands. All resistance to this word planted in my non-conscious mind is eliminated and released back into the nothingness from which it came. Never more to return. Only complete openness and receptivity is left. As I tap into the infinite river of well-being, I allow the radiance of the all good to downpour into and throughout my complete body, mind, and spirit allowing for all my highest intentions to root, grow, and become my absolute life experience. I am so grateful and so thankful that this is so. And so it is. Great work. Allow your hands to follow my hands once more and face your palms forward. Energy coming out of the center of the palms towards each other in final salutation, blessing this Tai Chi session, each other, in our beautiful world. Thank you for joining me today. Now take this wonderful energy out into the world and share it with your family, friends, and all your beloved community. For you are truly a radiant light. Peace, love, and light to you.